Peace fam, it's Davina, and today we have Nick with us who is gonna help set the foundation for Heal Thy Back series. So today we're talking about foundation, and if you just want to bring awareness to Nick's stance, um, go ahead and notice how his feet are naturally turned out. And then you come to a stand and notice how you just naturally stand, right? So you can see how his feet are kind of facing outward. And then as you look down, notice to see what's happening in your own stance. So what we're going to do is have Nick move. And have you ever heard that song, when I move, you move? That's basically what's going to happen here. So we're going to have Nick do it, and then you're going to be doing it at home. All right, so turn your right toes in. Good. So he has over internally rotated and we want to find a neutral position. So turn your toes so that your right foot faces straight forward. There we go. So right foot is straight forward, but the left foot is still out to the left. So you look down at your body, make your right foot straight forward and your left foot turn out to the side. And now shift the weight into your right foot and turn your left toes so that your left toes point straight forward. Great. So now we have equal balance between the left and the right side. This is really important because your feet and your ankles protect your knees and there's a whole chain. So we know that feet and ankles protect the knees, hips protect the low back, and your shoulders are gonna protect your neck. All right? So up next, I'm gonna have Nick turn to the side so you can see what's happening. Nick, go ahead and turn and face to your left for me. And then do that same thing with your feet. So every time that you move at home, see that your feet are parallel to each other and your big toes point in the same direction. Cool? All right, so from here, when we talk about the hips, what can happen for a lot of folks is when we start to look at the body from the side, and I do encourage you to record yourself from the side just so you can see what your body looks like, is that we want the outer ankle, the outer hip, and the outer shoulder and the outer ear to be in the same line. So Nick, you stay right where you are. If you notice, Nick is not in a straight line. And it's not because he has terrible posture. It is because he just needs some awareness around where to shift his weight. Okay? All right. So feet are looking great. Now, Nick, what I'd like you to do, I'm going to put my hands on your hips. And I just want you to send your weight back slightly right there. Now, you put your hands on your hips, send your weight back just slightly. So now it's going to be like you're balanced in the center of your feet. Good. All right, from here, we keep the ankle, the outer hip in line, and now ribs. So take your fingers and wrap them around your ribs. So you're going to take your fingers and wrap them around your ribs. So he's got his hands on his hips, which I love, because where are our ribs? Yes, where are our ribs? And throughout this series, you're going to hear me say, knit the ribs in or lift your front hip points. It's like, where is that? So here are the ribs. And now think of knitting them in. So think of pressing them in. Do you see how when he did that, his shoulders came forward? Totally fine. Are you breathing? Okay. So breathe while you do this. If you notice that when you knit your ribs in, your shoulders come forward, totally fine. Relax. We're going to do it again this time and only go as far forward or knit the ribs in so that your shoulders can stay back. So try it one more time, but this time, not so far forward with the shoulders. So ribs in, ooh, yes. Okay, and then relax your hands by the sides of your body. Take your hands by your sides. Feel what it's like, put a tiny bend in your knees to feel what it's like to be grounded in the center of your feet. Have your hips to protect your low back, ribs in. Now the last thing that we have to focus on, so think of sticking your butt out a little bit. Here we go. Last thing we have to focus on is the alignment of the shoulder and the outer ear. So because we tend to be on texting, cell phones, on the computer, there's that round in the spine, or sometimes we like to jet the chin out as if we have something to say. So what we're gonna do for our friend Nick and you at home, take your right index finger, 
bring your right index finger to your chin. So you're just gonna touch your chin. And what I want you to do is draw your chin straight back. Good. And then slightly down. Relax your hands by the sides of your body. All right, so now I'm just gonna check to see what his side profile looks like. And you can also do this in the mirror so that you can see what your side profile looks like. And he looks like he's in pretty great alignment, but he's struggling. So how do we, how do we make this better for him? Well, let's go ahead and have him come down to a seat. So Nick, you come to a seat, everyone at home, you're gonna come to a seat and then lie down all the way onto your back. Good. So we're trying to recreate the same sensation on the ground. So notice as you lay down, your feet are gonna naturally splay out to the side, totally fine. Think of bringing your toes straight up towards the ceiling. So spin your thighs in, remember, relax your head. There we go. So there's effort now to keep the toes straight up. That effort is gonna come from actually spinning the thighs in towards the midline of the body. You're gonna hear me say this quite a bit. So that just means roll your thighs in. Now, as he rolls his thighs in, we're gonna relax the feet just a bit. Yeah, good. Okay, now as you're on the ground, take a body scan and notice what parts of your body are touching the earth and what parts have a, a slight curve to them. So I'm just gonna slide my hand underneath to see if his back is touching the ground, and it is. You can do the same for yourself. Slide your hand underneath your back, press your back into the mat if there's an arch. Sweet, okay. Now, notice if your natural response is to roll the heads of your shoulders forward, and now spin your palms open. Good. And instead of trying to squeeze the hands by the sides of the body, you're welcome to move your arms a little wider so that you give your shoulders some space. Cool? All right, so now this is what it feels like to be in that standard anatomical position, laying down on the ground. And it might feel a little challenging to stay in this position, whether you're upright or on the ground. So to help with that, I'm just gonna give you three tips that you can do, three exercises that you can do at home to make this a little more easy for you, okay? So bend your knees up so the soles of the feet are flat on the ground. Widen your feet the hip distance or a little bit wider, good. And if you know that your hips feel a little tight, go ahead and bring your feet to the edges of your mat. So widen them this way, left, right, there you go. And then windshield wiper, that just means relax the knees to one side and then relax them to the other. And you do not have to try to get your knees to the ground. The work here as you move left and right is just to become aware of how your low back feels, how your groin feels, and how your hips feel. So this is a really good stretch. You could do it in the morning when you're in your bed. You could do it any time of the day, honestly, as long as you have the space to be able to actually move your knees from left to right. Take one more and then you're just gonna pause in the center. All right, so that's my first favorite tip and exercise. And the third exercise is wind removing pose. What's really important in this exercise is that you keep your low back glued to the mat. So that just means that we're going to only extend the leg to a place where you can keep your low back against the mat. Cool? All right, draw your right thigh into your chest, interlace the fingers on top of your shin. Exhale, lift your left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Good, take a deep breath in, and then on your exhale, just lower your leg about two thirds of the way to the ground. Good, release that and switch. So you're gonna bring your left thigh in, straighten right leg up, and then bring the right leg down. Do not let the foot touch the ground and then switch. Bring your right thigh into your chest, left leg goes straight up, lower the foot down, keep your head down, upper body relaxed. Good, and switch. And this becomes intuitive. You don't need to actually see where your foot lands. You're gonna listen to your breath and your body to notice when it's starting to pull on your low back or when it's starting to make your pelvis move. So you get to check in with breath and body 
and make the decision about where and what point to stop. Cool. All right, take one more on each side. Move with your breath. And feel your breath support you. When you're finished, just bend your knees and place your feet flat on the ground. Place your hands on your belly. And as you place your hands on your belly, just take a few breaths to soften and relax, to feel how your low back feels, to feel how your hips feel, and to feel what it's like to set a strong foundation with your legs. Hopefully you got what you needed from this to be successful in the Heal Thy Back series because there's so much good information on how to set a foundation so that your hips protect your low back and so that you're able to knit your ribs in and access your core strength. Peace and blessings. <laughs>